Of course, in the news, the sports world definitely feeling the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The NBA has put, uh, pressed the pause button on the season until further notice. This after a player from Utah tested positive for COVID-19. Albert Delatal is outside Scotiabank Arena with more on this developing story. Good morning, Albert. Good morning, Anthony. Yes, there's certainly some worry among fans, many of them likely waking up to the news now. The league, as you mentioned, has suspended all games until further notice after a player tested positive for COVID-19. The NBA tweeted the news yesterday that a Utah Jazz player had preliminarily tested positive for the virus. This came just prior to the tip-off against the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City Thunder. The game was canceled and the rest of the season suspended after the other scheduled games wrapped up. The Raptors just played the Jazz on Monday and the player who was reported to have tested positive is Rudy Gobert. You can actually see Gobert here recently appearing to make light of coronavirus concerns in front of reporters touching many of the mics as you might guess other professional leagues are taking notice the NHL releasing a statement saying the NHL is continuing to consult with medical experts and is evaluating the options First, so let's, uh, I'll, I'll show you a, a statement from Mark Cuban, who is the, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks. He commented on the situation. It's not necessarily about basketball. Obviously, this is much bigger than basketball. Um, I'm concerned about, you know, will my kids have school or not? I'm concerned, you know, are we all doing the right thing? Because this is obviously new territory. This is certainly a black swan event in my experiences. And and I'll show you that statement again. I got a bit out of myself. Uh, the NHL released a statement. They're saying that they're continuing to consult with medical experts and they're evaluating their options and they're expected to give an update on Thursday. We're here at Scotiabank Arena. Still a quiet scene here, but we are looking to talk to fans about this uh, shocking development. Anthony? Yeah, the NHL's response will be interesting as well because a lot of these teams, the NHL teams, share the arena with the NBA. And, I mean, obviously there is some uh, crossover. We will follow that very closely. Albert, thank you so much.